The WXY sideways double combo is a horizontal three-wave corrective structure labeled as a wave WX and a wave Y and can appear in wave A of a flat, wave B of a zigzag, wave X in a WXY or a WXYXZ, wave 2 or wave 4 of an impulse structure. Inside a wave W, you can only have a zigzag or a flat structure. Wave X can be any corrective structure, but most commonly wave X is a zigzag structure. And in wave Y, we're looking for either a zigzag, a flat or a triangle. If, however, wave W is a zigzag, ABC535 to the down or the upside, wave Y cannot be a zigzag structure. If wave X is a triangle, then the probabilities are incredibly low for wave Y to also be a triangle. Now inside wave W, we have of course a zigzag or a potential flat structure and based on the context, you might continue the trend after a zigzag or after a flat structure. However, the probabilities of a sideways WXY double combo increase if the single corrective structure over here is too short in time based on the context that you're in on the chart. The most common target area for your wave X is between the 786 and the 1.38 taken from the star to the end of your wave W. The 618 to the 786 is only a little less likely and the 05 to the 618 is uncommon. The most common target area for your wave Y is the 0.618 to the 1.236 trend-based Fib extension taken from the start to the end of W to the end of wave X. This is also the most common way to calculate the target for wave Y. The 1.618 is an uncommon target. Another way to calculate a wave Y target is to take the Fibonacci with the 786 and the 1.38 taken from the start to the end of your wave X. When comparing the different waves in time, preferably your wave X is finishing at least after the 0.382 FIB time, taken from the start to the end of wave W, comparing W with wave X. It is very rare for wave X to finish before the 0.382 FIB time. It is however normal for a wave X to sometimes be quite long, reaching a 2, 3 or even a 4 FIB time, but the moment wave X is moving towards a 5 or 6 FIB time, it will significantly reduce the probabilities you're looking at a wave X in a WXY sideways double combo. When we look at the time target for a wave Y, we are comparing W with wave Y. So the FIB time for wave Y is taken from the start to the end of W to the end of wave X. The most common time target for wave Y is between the 0.618 and the 1.618 FIB time. Preferably, wave Y is finishing at least after the 0.382 FIB time, and if wave Y is moving towards the 4, 5, or even 6 FIB time, the probabilities are significantly reduced you're looking at a wave Y in a WXY sideways double combo. The volume in a WXY sideways double combo can be very messy because of the subwave structures inside W, X, and Y, because wave W can be a zigzag or a flat structure. Now, both of these structures have a different volume pattern, same with wave X, which can be any corrective structure, and wave Y, which can be a zigzag, flat, or a triangle. So usually the volume is not really used to look for a WXY, but it is definitely used for these subwave structures. For this, of course, I'd like to refer you to the other videos. I'd then finally like to walk you through all of the different WXY sideways double combo structures. Starting with a WXY where wave W is a zigzag, so we then have an ABC 535 to the downside in a wave W. Wave X can be any corrective structure, but it is common for wave X to be a zigzag structure. So therefore, I've put an ABC to the upside in wave X, and then wave Y in this scenario is a flat in an A, B, and a wave C. In the other scenario here, we have a zigzag in W, a zigzag in a wave X, and then a triangle in a wave Y. But as mentioned, a triangle in wave Y does have the lowest probabilities compared to a zigzag, which is most common, or a flat. However, if wave W is a zigzag, wave Y is not allowed to be a zigzag. If wave W is a flat instead of a zigzag, then there are three possible structures. So first, we have a flat here in a wave W, zigzag in a wave X, most common for X and then a zigzag in a wave Y. 
Here again, we have a flat in W, zigzag in X, but then another flat structure in a wave Y. So you are allowed to have a flat in W and a flat in Y. And then finally, a flat in W, zigzag in a wave X, and then a triangle in a wave Y. This is everything that you have to know about a WXY sideways double combo. If there are any questions, please make sure to ask.